continue our discussion about injector head here we'll understand the working of a counterbalance valve which is used in the injector drive circuit so as discussed we are trying to understand the working of a counterbalance valve which is basically used in the injector drive circuit here we have injector drive circuit complete we can see that in this injector drive circuit we have two counterbalance valves installed this is the first counterbalance valve and here is the second counterbalance valve so our main target is to understand this hydraulic circuit but to understand this hydraulic circuit we need to have a pre knowledge about the working of a counterbalance valve so in this tutorial we will understand the working of counterbalance valve and then in the next tutorial we will discuss injector drive circuit so to understand counterbalance valve a question arises that why counterbalance valve is needed to answer this question we will consider this uh, diagram here a hydraulic motor is used to give drive to this sheave and then this sheave is used to raise this elevator okay this hydraulic motor is providing drive to this sheave and then this this sheave is used is being used to raise and lower this elevator so when we are raise, uh, raising this load it will be a normal operation we will have a rotation like this means this sheave will rotate counter clockwise and when we have to lower the load just rotation will be changed this sheave will rotate clockwise but what will be the problem in this scenario in this scenario there will be a problem that due to the load of gravity of this elevator will have a problem of overrunning that this load will run with the speed which is more than this sheave so to solve this problem we apply a mechanism that is we add a counter weight equal to this weight of the elevator so we add a counter weight now these two sides are just balanced and now we the help of this motor we just have to move up and down now there will be the no force of gravity that is we have balanced the force of gravity which is which was being applied on this side a similar situation is shown in this hydraulic circuit in this hydraulic circuit this uh, cylinder is being used for the raising and lowering of this load so just uh, and let's uh, discuss this hydraulic circuit here we have a direction control valve if we want to raise the load we will just change this direction from this pu this pump will take hydraulic fluid and then from this hydraulic pump fluid will move to this this direction depending upon the direction selector so this fluid will come to this point and then we will start moving this hydraulic cylinder in the upward side so we will able to raise the load it will be a normal operation but when we are we will be lowering this load we will have the same problem as in this scenario that when will the fluid will pass through this point and well will enter on the above side of the cylinder then due to the gravity just assume that due to this weight we are fa facing extra 100 psi pressure due to the load of this body so again we will have a overrunning problem so we will face overrunning of load during lowering and there will be no control in this scenario that the load will be moved in an uncontrolled manner just see again when we are moving this load in the upward direction it will be moved in a controlled manner but when we this load will be moved in the downward direction we will have the problem of overrunning why overrunning just assume that this hydraulic circuit is putting the 50 psi pressure and due to this load we are having 100 psi extra pressure to move this cylinder we need 50 psi but due to this load we are fa actually facing 150 psi pressure on the above side so due to this extra pressure this load will move with the higher speed So to solve this problem we add this valve which is known as counterbalance valve. So the basic definition of the counterbalance valve is that counterbalance valve is used to avoid the overrunning of the load during the movement of the load. So now we will see that how this counterbalance valve have, have solved our problem. In this case uh, here is the counterbalance valve. This counterbalance valve is basically composed of two components. This is whole is the counterbalance valve. It is composed of two components. The first one is the free flow check valve, and the second is the pilot operated pressure che pressure check valve. Free flow check valve means 
it is just acting a check valve it will provide a unidirectional flow and this pilot pr operated pressure check valve means this check valve will allow the pass passage of fluid at a certain preset value of pressure so when we will we are trying to raise the lower it will be a normal operation just we will select the direction from this point this point will be connected to this point here is a hydraulic pump this is a relief valve which is being set uh, being installed to provide the desired pressure okay so from this hydraulic pump fluid will flow towards this direction then we'll select the direction this uh, raise position so fluid will flow this direction and then through this uh, unidirectional valve or free flow check valve fluid will pass through this point and will start raising the load which will be a normal operation but when we are lowering the load what will happen fluid will move from this point move this point and then will move towards this direction and uh, the fluid which is on the lower side of this cylinder will try to move towards this side now this check valve will stop the passage of the flow passage of this hydraulic fluid now fluid have to move from this point to this pilot operated check valve but this pilot operated check valve will be opened at a preset value of pressure we discussed that we assumed that this load is applying a pressure of 100 psi so we'll set the value of this pre uh, pilot operated check valve at 130 psi 1.3 times so this check valve will stop the passage of flow fluid cannot flow from this point because it is a closed valve so when fluid will flow from this point there will be the increase in pressure then a point will come when the pressure in this circuit in in this circuit will increase up to 130 as soon as the pressure reach to 130 this valve will be opened and then the fluid will start moving through this point in this way we will have a controlled motion that is when the pressure will decrease from 130 this valve will be closed when again pressure will be built then uh, this valve will be opened this operation is being occurred in nanoseconds so in this way hydraulic fluid will flow and will go back to the hydraulic tank and we will have a controlled and smooth motion we will be able to lower load in a smooth and controlled manner now we can summarize the learning related to counterbalance valve that counterbalance valves are used in hydraulic systems working with an overrunning runaway or suspended load they are designed to create back pressure at the return line of the actuator to prevent losing control over the load here you can see that as we have just discussed in the previous slide that this this valve will be open at 130 psi so when the pressure will be 130 then this valve will be opened otherwise a pressure will be created on this side which will avoid the overrunning of this load counterbalance valve has two main components in it pilot operated pressure check valve and free flow check valve that was a discussion about counterbalance valve which is used in the coil tubing injector head. I am very much hopeful that you got understanding regarding what we have discussed. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.